Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So previously here I showed you how to make this lampshade skirt which you can work for a wedding gown or any other party wears. If you like it, make sure you check my description box for the link. So today I'm going to be showing you how to make this abaya kaftan cowl dress. It's very 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 beautiful and I like how comfortable it feels on me. And I hope you guys like it as well. If you want to know how I achieved this, make sure you watch to the end. And don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel for more interesting videos. And also make sure you leave your comments on the comment section below. Let's get going. So here, the first thing I made was a dress pattern. Basic long dress pattern. Just for clarity purpose, you don't need to do this before you create this look. But I'm just going to show you this is the full length of the skirt from the shoulder down to the ankle. So when you're done making this, you're just going to mark the neckline. I'm going to mark four inches at this place and then four inches down as well. So you go ahead and mark your neckline. After marking your neckline, you need to, as you can see, I've marked it as four by four inches. And the next thing I'm going to do now. Is to add the sleeve to it and I'm just going to add 11 inches to it as you can see I added 11 inches which is somewhere around the elbow line from this line here down this is 11 inches and then the next thing I'm going to do is to mark 3 inches down like so so when I'm done marking my 3 inches as you can see it now, I'm just going to mark the round sleeve of the elbow measurement here. So when I'm done marking it, as you can see, the next thing I'm going to do is mark one inch in, like so. Then I'm going to connect from this point I marked one inch down to the ankle line so now that i've done that already as you can see right here i'm just going to smoothen this angle a little bit so that it doesn't look too sharp so i'm just going to make a curved line around that place as you can see good so the next thing I'm going to do is to adjust the ankle line of my abaya dress. I don't want it to be cowl throughout this area. So I'm just going to remove the cowlness here by retracing this line here. If you want just to remain like this, it's very, very okay. But I'm just going to mark 8 inches up here. Then I'm going to retrace this line to join this angle like so. So now that I'm done doing that already... The next thing is to add one inch seam allowance upwards and then at the shoulder line I added half inch seam allowance and at the sleeve line as well half inch and I connected all to each other. Then the next thing I'm going to do now as you can see how I marked and connected everything so you go ahead and do same to yours. So the next thing I did was to cut out my front piece and place it on a fabric for the back piece then i marked out one inch here for the slit and the bottom for my neckline because i need to be freely moving in my abaya that's why i did this so the next adjustment is the neckline so i marked out one and a half inch right here and i connected it up to this point and i'm going to cut this out just like this for my back piece now, the, now i'm going to mark the rest of the sleeves and from here, this is about 8 inches long plus 1 inch seam allowance. And from here is the elbow line measurement plus 1 inch. And then you're going to mark also the mouth of your cuff, depending on where you want it to sit, and add your seam allowance. So we're going to go over to sewing proper. This is my interface for the front piece. And I've placed it on the right side to right side, and I'll sew around the neckline. And after sewing it, I'm going to notch these areas and then I'm going to turn it inside out and top stitch it. After doing that, I give it a good pressing and this is how it turned out to look. 
So now we're going over to the back piece. Remember we left out one inch at this area for the slit and I'm also going to use it to add buttons to the back of the neckline. If you have a larger neckline you may as well skip this part but I want ease of movement and easy wearing of my abaya so I'm just going to mark down four and I have inches right here and I'm going to sew down to four inches be above the knee line so here before sewing the facing for the neckline back neckline I'm going to form a, a fabric buttonhole by folding this piece of fabric into two and I'm going to sew up by half inch after sewing it I should have something like this I'm going to just use my needle to turn this inside out just like I'm doing now then I'll put I'm going to put this in the tip of it I'm just going to force the tip of it inward then after I must have done that I'm going to drag it out to the other side to form a fabric buttonhole. This is also called something like Dori in India. So here I'm just going to use this cut it out. I just cut like three inches here. You cut according to the size of your button and I'm just going to fold this into a buttonhole. And I'm just going to place it around half inch before the neckline. As you can see, I went down half inch before the neckline. I'm going to sew it right there. So after sewing it in there, I'm just going to start off with sewing in my facing. And I place my interface on the back piece, right side to right side to each other. I'm going to sew down the neckline and at this area as well. I'm just going to make sure that these stitches here matches with the one on my interface. So as you can see, when you're done, it should look like this. When you turn it inside out, then you sew on your button. Then the next thing I'm going to do is to join the front and back piece together by the shoulder line and by the side seam. After doing that, the next thing to do is to notch this arm pit area to release tension then after I must have smoothened out the pressure here I'm going to sew in my sleeve by sewing this area out and hemming the mouth of my sleeves after doing that I'm just going to install the sleeves right here and then hem the bottom of my abaya and it's simply ready thank you guys for watching I hope you like and subscribe to my channel see you guys in my next tutorial don't forget to share my videos and join us on facebook on sewing b niger see you guys in my next tutorial bye